Hi guys, welcome to our first ever vlog. So we are doing this because we want to help uh, people na gusto rin mag-start sa freelancing o sa pagiging virtual assistant. So we have here the laptop VA, my heart, and um, how are you? Yes, I'm great. I'm blessed and I'm actually excited with this first episode that we're creating. All right, so that's good to hear. And um, kamusta naman si uh, Laptop VA or the Laptop VA? Ano ba meron dyan sa the Laptop VA which is uh, you just created a Facebook page? Ano ba meron dyan? Yes, uh, not just a Facebook page but it's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook page. Yes. And it's more of a brand wherein I'm actually being a brand, uh, an ambassador uh, a virtual assistant wherein it's the type of a work wherein as long as you have a laptop, you can work anywhere. Of course, laptop plus Wi-Fi. So I already started it this week with three videos every week. And it's more about creating those trainings, tips, how to get started. And above all is free trainings um, of different niches or skills that you can actually offer with clients. Oh, I see. So, uh, it's really related with our topic for today. So, open-minded ka ba? How to become or how to start a freelancing? So, it seems like yung the Laptop VA Facebook page and your TikTok and then your YouTube channel, it's all about freelancing. So, napaka-informative yan, most especially do sa mga tao na mag gusto talaga mag-start sa freelancing. Tama ba? Tama ba? Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, there's an opportunity that I didn't know exists a few years back. Pero nung nalaman ko siya, uh, I actually made the second video is about all about becoming a virtual assistant, wherein it's the best decision that I made uh, career-wise. Especially ako, hindi ako nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Uh, I was a call center agent for more than five years. And then... Parang ang hirap na maghanap ng other opportunities, especially work from home pa siya. And uh, since nag-pandemic, when we were aware of how the setup is, parang uh, everyone, especially those uh, like me, call center agent, or even a mother like me, parang nag-iisip na mayroon pa bang other opportunity out there that we can actually work from home or work anywhere with Wi-Fi. So that's the setting or that's the pinaka-pinaka- uh, Topic or pinaka reason why there is laptop VA. Oh, yeah, uh, that's the reason, and it's all about freelancing. Eh. So, napakaganda ng ano no, uh, opportunity na to na pwede nating makuha online. So, uh, let's talk about itong uh, strategic assistance services uh, opportunity na to. Uh, ano bang meron to? Uh, ano bang ano ba tong SAS and ano bang opportunity ang meron na pwede nating makuha? O oh, pwede makuha ng mga audience natin uh, dito kay SAS. Ayan. So, we are actually called OBS before or uh, Optimized Business Solution. Yun yung unang-unang business that we put up under uh, Freelancing World or sa Virtual Assistant Agency. But a lot has changed and SAS is now SAS or strategic assistant services. And I'm just really excited because I don't know if all of my friends or colleagues already know that SAS exists. And right now, strategic assistant services is a virtual assistant agency that offers work from home opportunity to, all, to everyone. It's actually open to everyone. And if you have a call center experience, it be an advantage for you. Now, to, uh, paano ba ipakilala si SAS? Um, it's actually founded by four person. That's me. That's you. And of course, one of our uh, closest friends, which is Elaine. And we have a partner, a U.S. partner, actually, which is Ryan Angat. And we're just really excited uh, because this year, 2023, we have a goal to reach not just 100, but more than 100 uh, VAs. And to and be able, able to, to do that, strategic assistance services um, or everyone or especially my colleagues and those people that are looking for opportunity to work from home. Uh, that there is SAS. Oh, so uh, baka medyo malabo sa mga audience natin. So, si SAS is an agency 
na mention mo ba kanina? I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, a virtual assistant agency. Oh, I see. So, um, ano ba kaibahan nito ag uh, uh, to become a freelancing or virtual assistant and then getting your own client or direct client, then joining uh, an agency like SaaS. So, what's the opportunity? Uh, what's the opportunity advantage? I think na pwedeng makuha sa isang agency than to uh, find your own direct client like that. There are a few reasons actually. Um, I started, when I became a virtual assistant, I started with Upwork. That's where I got my clients. And up until now, I'm still working with them or for them. And I'm really grateful for that. And that's actually how the agency started or SaaS started. When I saw the opportunity that there's a lot of clients out there that's looking for VAs like us. Now, um, the only thing that I can say that we differ from the others is that in SaaS, the clients that we have, uh, it actually came, or most of the clients that we have are referrals from our business partner, which is Ryan. And they're a quality kind of clients, meaning to say they're looking for a long-term relationship with VAs. And that gives an advantage for those who, who wants to be in a freelancing world, wherein from the word freelance, wala siyang security. Parang anytime pwedeng mawala si client. But with SaaS, the clients that we have are looking for long-term VAs. And aside from that, even if you get to be connected with a client na parang naghanap ng sila ng campaign or project-based lang siya, it's totally okay kasi since you're part of SaaS, we will be giving you other clients as well. There's a security uh, within SaaS. And we're actually promoting a culture within SaaS kasi pag freelancer ka, tas mag-isa ka lang and you're on your own, yun na nga yun eh, mag-isa ka and then you're, you're, you're on your own, um, you're still gonna be looking for a family within the, uh, the, the the freelancing world. So being part of SaaS, we're promoting uh, a culture of, you know, being masaya ka pa din or being part of a family na, na nandito sa business na to. You're not alone. And there's a support system. That's another thing as well that is an advantage actually. Kasi even if you don't have an experience as a VA, like me, I started without any experience. So, medyo nag-struggle ako, nahirapan ako, especially dun sa training phase. But with SAS, we provide a support wherein we provide free trainings. And then once you get hired for a specific client, you're not still going to be alone. You will be partnered with an account manager that will help you. So, for me, those are things that are advantaged if you are part of an agency. And of course, there's perks. Like, meron tayong Friday fun day every other week. Friday or twice a month, mga ganun. So we uh, we get to connect with each other, get to have a fun within uh, the work setting, something like that. Though it's virtual for now, and then there's other perks, advantage of being part of an agency as well. Uh, I think you you can talk more about it as well. Yeah, um, I think uh, you already said everything about the advantages of being part of an agency like SAS. So, um, hindi ganun kadali ang mag-start sa pagiging freelancer or sa pagiging virtual assistant. So, uh, I think ang um, pagiging part ng isang agency like SAS is a good start para dun sa mga beginner. So, if you are lucky or blessed that you can get your own client even though you are not joining or being part of an agency, that's good to you. Uh, like Regine, I think, uh, nag-start siya sa Upwork and he, uh, she's, she uh, got her client sa Upwork and I think um, uh, there are a few that can do that. But if you can't and then you are having a hard time to start in freelancing or in being a virtual assistant, I think this agency, it's fit for you. All right. So um, before we answer this uh, topic that we have today, um, I just want to, you know, <clears throat> let our audience know. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So let's uh, our audience know that ano bang nakuha natin? Okay, sumula na nag-start tayo sa freelancing. Ano bang nangyari? <laughs> Alright, so I think uh, you can start answer, answering that question. Ano yung mga nangyari when we started freelancing? Uh, kailan mo tayo nag-start? Uh, I know it's April, ako nag-start. And then, mag-April, ano na ba ngayon? 
uh, February, March, April. So uh, a month or a month na lang, no? One month na lang, it's gonna be April na din. So it means to say, magto two years na when I started in this career or uh, in the freelancing world. So nakakatuwa lang kasi I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful to God for this opportunity uh, to be able to work from home or work anywhere. So first thing na nakuha ko, uh, kasi I, I was a call center agent for AT&T, so nasabi ko na, no? so when we say talco account sa call center para dun sa mga call center agent like me, it's not an easy account. So very, sa, sabi nga nila we're not toxic, pero I really experienced that uh, mental health wise. I couldn't see myself doing the same thing uh, for as long as I can. So I'm glad that I was able to find this opportunity wherein I'm supporting different clients and I was able to do that. Uh, while yung ano ko is I'm very happy with 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 the environment and ang pinaka gusto ko talaga is them uh ano uh them na appreciate nila yung work na ginagawa ko it's very rewarding at the same time hindi siya katulad sa dati kong work na I have to take phone calls every night like 50 or more at least and then ang pinaka masakit is kapag uh, galit na galit na galit yung kausap mo and it's it, it's not once a week na nangyari pero most of the time it's day, it's every night every day na nangyari so hindi talaga siya ano hindi talaga siya uh, pang long term so that's the first thing that I got yung yung sa sarili ko mental health and of course yung happiness that you're building your career at the same time you're enjoying it and it's very rewarding. Yun muna. But there's more. Uh, would you like to add more or ako lang muna kasi madami. <laughs> madami. Um, sige, sige diretso uh, uh, Yeah, um, sa so sobrang dami. So, maybe tulungan kita, no? Uh, sa akin naman is maliban dun sa napaka-rewarding, napaka-bite ng mga client. I think uh, in terms of income, Okay, um, it's like times three, times four. <laughs> so, um, what happened is, uh, hindi mo mao compare yung salary mo doon sa pwede mo kitain as a freelancer. So, that's why, uh, uh, nung nagkaroon ka ng first client, okay, you immediately, uh, file a resignation, okay, and then stop doing the call center job. Because you saw, we saw the opportunity in terms of income data sa freelancing. So yeah, I think that's one of the you know the things that uh, we experience here in the freelancing. Ano pa? Yes. So uh, salary wise. It's like three times of our combined income. <laughs> so it's really a blessing. Now. Uh, first year pa lang or few months pa lang, wala pang isang taon eh, we were able to get our first car, though it's a second-hand car, but we're blessed to be able to do that and without paying for too long. Uh, kaya, kaya favor yung name ng ating car kasi uh, we were able to get the opportunity to pay it in six months without any interest. So that's a blessing. Uh, we got our first car and then we're able to start uh, kasi meron na tayong house through pag financing sa Impresa Homes. Pero as we know, uh, yung Impresa Homes, especially Elena unit, para dun sa mga nakakalam, it's really a small house. And then, uh, pro house did siya, so they could take it. But on our first year, we're able to start paying for our dream house. So, uh, hopefully, uh, after one year, pwede na tayong makalipat doon sa bagong bahay. And that's a blessing na nakikita mo unti-unti na na na-achieve because of this opportunity or this career na naumpisahan natin and that's a blessing so thank you lord all right so thank you lord talaga diyan so you know uh, it's a dream job you know makita mo uh nagtatrabaho tayo sa bahay di ba hindi natin kailangang bumiyahe kasama natin lagi yung pamilya natin so it's a very great blessing na we can do this business at the same time hindi natin hindi tayo nawawala ng oras sa family natin so yun yung pinakamagandang uh, opportunity na meron dito sa freelancing and of course additional yung income yung bahay yung sasakyan and so much more travel <laughs> and then savings 
and a lot more. So, uh, wag na natin patagalin and uh, how to start freelancing. So, uh, I think uh, yun yung pinaka-inaantay ng mga audience natin today kasi yun yung episode 1 natin. And then, I think they are already open-minded sa mga uh, shinare natin yung mga uh, ex- testimony. Uh, and then, they are je- really waiting for that answer. How to start freelancing? No, bago ko sagutin yan, no? Uh, <laughs> hindi, kasi hindi natin highlight yung word na travel, yung yung time for the family, and then lastly, yung time for the ministry. So, yung sa travel, I'm really glad na kayang-kaya na natin gawin without even taking a leave of absence. Hindi mo na kailang magpaalam. Kasi you can work even though you're traveling. At the same time, you are with your family while you're working. So, wala kang namimiss out na celebrations, which is really a great blessing. And lastly, as na uh, uh, merong trabaho in the ministry, we're serving in, uh, in the Lord's Church. We're just really grateful na hindi na natin, hindi na po, hindi na tayo nagsasabi ng no with any celebrations na during weekdays. No? So, weekend weekdays, hindi na po, pwede na tayo uh, uh, mag-serve sa Lord greatest blessing to be able to work in the ministry. So, yun, 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 those are the things that we're able to get when we decided to be part of the freelancing world or to become a virtual assistant. So, now, the biggest question, eh, even my friends, uh, those uh, who saw my posts on social media, they have that same question. So that's why I created the Laptop VA. Please do subscribe, visit all of my social media accounts, especially YouTube. That's where I'll be uploading yung talagang uh, uh, detailed for detailed answer how to start. I already uploaded one actually this week. So next week, I'll start doing training videos. Kabaho na ng ginagawa ng isang VA, no? And me, if you're gonna ask me, ano ba yung special when I start to become a VA? So, there are still those clients who will still ask you to do calls. Meron pa rin customer service side, meron pa rin calls. Yes, that's given. But the good thing is, ano na siya, if you're going to compare your work as a partner agent and you being a VA, or siguro ako pa lang na-experience noon, kasi lahat ng mga clients na napupunta sa akin, they're, they're, siguro kasi because of their business owners, their executives, the kind of client that I am connected to are really professionals. So, they're not toxic people or something like that. Um, uh, yun, that's the first thing. But expect that there will be videos that will be uploaded of what I really do. Me, hindi ko pa pala nasagot yun, yung specialty ko. I am a business development uh, representative. That's my early generation in email marketing. So, yan yung una kong ituturo actually, how to be a business development virtual assistant by next week. And then after noon, how to be a real estate VA, how to be an executive assistant VA, and then general VA. Social media, I'm also going to touch that part. Though I'm not an expert to it, but I'm going to share what I know so you can get started. Uh, those are just a few of the trainings that I'll be creating. And then um, later on, I'm going to top the other skills or niches as well that I think especially with SaaS, I'm actually targeting SaaS clients and SaaS VAs. Yung talagang kailangang matutunan to be able to get a client with SaaS. So, yun pala, no? With to be looking for a client, kami yung, kami yung magko-connect ng client sa'yo. So, if you're interested, we're gonna add, or our, our HR department's email is hr at strategic-assistant.com So, you can send your updated CV or rest uh, to get started if you're really interested with strategic assistance services. All right. So, uh, I think uh, napaka-informative ng topic natin today. And uh, if you want to know more about freelancing, uh, you just have to subscribe to sa channel, sa YouTube channel. And then, you can follow her in Instagram and also in TikTok. And then, meron din nga siyang Facebook page, which is yung The Laptop. VA. So, everything, all the trainings na ibibigay niya is makikita nyo doon sa kanyang mga social media accounts. So, thank you so much uh, guys for watching and uh, I hope you learn a lot for this first ever uh, vlog na meron kami and you have you just have to subscribe so that you will have uh, you will be updated sa mga video na gagawin pa namin. So, yun lang. Uh, the Laptop VA, may gusto ko pa sabihin before we end this video? Uh, 
uh, that would be all for now. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episodes. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.